Hello everyone, this is Said from Embedonics again and this time I would like to share some tips and tricks regarding SMD reflow soldering. As you can see we have a coin shaped double sided PCB. The bottom part is already uh, soldered because there's a uh, few components on the bottom side. But the interesting part is the top side. We have more variant of uh, components to be soldered. So we will be focusing on this side. This is the essential for the top side of the PCB and normally when your uh, PCB contains SMD devices the PCB manufacturer will send you a free sample of the stencil otherwise you have to ask for it and as you can see it matches the top side Here I'm trying to make a platform for applying uh, solar paste on the PCBs using some uh, prep forts which were laying around luckily and this is especially important because the PCBs we are dealing with here are rounded so they can uh, go everywhere. So we have to fix them in place. Now it's time to match the stencil over the PCB and then we have to fix it in place so we can uh, apply the solder paste. This is the solder paste and luckily it's not uh, lit free so it's easier to work with and I'm going to use this sharp knife blade to spread the solder paste over the stencil and the pads. So you just need to get a bit of solder paste and try to gently apply it around the uh, holes of the stencil until all the uh, pads are covered with the solar paste. If your circuit happens to have devices which are sensitive to static electricity, I advise you to use uh, anti-static grease trap, but in this case uh, we don't have such devices so I'm not using it. Now I'm placing the PCBs which have solder paste applied to them onto the platform and I will get ready to insert the components over the pads. We begin the placement of the components at the places which have the least accessibility, for example this one on the middle. These components are in 0402 package and they are absolutely tiny, so be very careful when you get them off of the packaging, otherwise they can fly everywhere and you can uh, lose them very easily. Using a fine pair of tweezers I grab the resistor and I try to uh, drop it on the solar pad and then I will do some uh, adjustments and the point is you don't really need to uh, align it exactly 100% on the place because uh, when the solder melts down it will pull the resistor or the component uh, to its uh, best place so don't worry about it the reason that we started with the component in the middle is because uh, it will leave us uh, more space for fine adjustments compared to when we have started with the components on its left and right and we do the same process for the rest of passive components.
as you can see, if you fail the initial drop of the component on the solar pad, then it's gonna be a big pain in the back to bring it into the alignment. Now we start with these transistors because they are the uh, next smallest components after those passive components that I uh, already placed. Luckily they are a bit bigger and they have three pads so it's an easier job to place them. And now it's time for the microcontroller IC and as you can see they come into these uh, tube packages and uh, make sure you get enough of them out and then a start placement and they tend to be easier for placement because they have uh, pins on uh, both sides and uh, again don't be uh, very picky about the alignment because as I said when the solder melts down, it will pull the component into right place, so don't worry about it again. And now it's time for placement of these RGB LEDs. And this time I have to be careful with the orientation of this component, indicated by that triangle on the top left corner.
and finally the last component which is a surface mounted uh, push button. I have turned on the reflow oven and I am waiting for the preheat phase to be completed. The preheat phase is now complete and I'm transferring the PCBs into the uh, tray of the oven. So this is almost the last part of the work and I have to be very careful while transferring the PCBs from my workbench to the uh, oven because a slightest amount of vibration can ruin my day and I have to start a uh, placement of the components all over again. So that's why I'm using two hands. So the reflow process is now complete and I just need to wait for the PCBs to cool down before removing them and after that I will check if there's anything wrong with the placement of the components or not. But luckily in this case nothing went wrong and everything was fine and dandy. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video very soon.